Uh, does this count as somebody that's alive? Oops. Is this working? Uh, maybe it needs to be on. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Holy man! Uh oh, what is happening? Oh! <gasps> YouTube, Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Teardown, and folks, uh, we've got a new weapon in the game, and this is something that I've wanted for a long time, so somebody has managed to make a fuel can, and once you think about it, like, how has a gas can not been in the game? Because it's got such good fire physics that you would figure that, you know what, let's pour some liquid down and light it on fire. So we're gonna go up to an apartment. Uh, let's go into this one. Three, two, one. There we go. Uh oh. Oh no, we caught it on fire. No, this is not what we wanted to do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I was wanting to light it on fire a different way. Not. See, this is what happens when I get creative with opening doors. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to see some more teardown on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Um, we got a really, really fast spreading fire. I mean. We could just add some fuel to the fire. Okay. Oh, it does spread. That's so cool. Like, how is that not a thing in the game? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, we might have cornered ourselves. Um, the whole building's engulfed in flames. This is fine. We'll just put it out with more fire. We have another mod that I want to play with. It's a wind mod. And wind and fire don't get along typically. So if I hit escape, I can go to wind options. So the strength, is that like hurricane strength? Can I go, huh? Let's go and enable. Uh-oh, uh, stuff's blowing out. Wait, that's only halfway. Holy man, it sounds like there's a tornado going on outside. This might crash my game. Uh, is it blowing the smoke? It actually does look a little bit clearer. So is the smoke just billowing out the back? Actually, it's dissipating a bit, wait. Is the wind putting out the fire? Also, you could see all the debris flying around. Is this strong enough to blow cars? Do you go wee now? No, it's not strong enough for that. So it really just blows away particles. Uh, you can see the fire uh, rising up, but I don't think the wind is actually doing anything to the fire itself. But yeah, that was a cool little mod I thought I'd show you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let's disable that real quick. So uh, let's go ahead and light this. I wasn't wanting to do it the way I did it up there. I want to actually like lay down like a trail and then blow it up. So let's attempt that real quick. So we can somewhat see the trail. Like it doesn't look like liquid. It looks like these yellow little balls, but this is fine. All right, let's put this all over the vehicles here. So this pairs perfectly with our lighter mod. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and light this bad boy up. And oh, oh, come on. It's kind of weak. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, this has got to work together, right? All right, I'm trying to light up this. Is this working? Oh, uh, maybe it needs to be on. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Holy man! Uh oh, okay, step out. <laughs> on, is it gonna spread? I think it's having some problems spreading on the concrete here. It lit that whole floor on fire really quick, though. Okay, here we'll help it out over here. Uh, let's just light the vehicle. Huh? Come on. Got to hit one of those little fuel particles. Uh, I'm directly on it. It kind of interacts a little weird with the uh, concrete, it seems. But it does great with, like, flammable materials. As you can see, the uh, whole bottom floor is engulfed in flames right now. Huh? Is that working? Is that... F oh, there it goes. Yeah, it just took a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, it's... Oh, wow. So, the fuel can is fun. So, let's go ahead and clear out the lag real quick. Uh, the poor apartment building has seen better days, but we haven't officially finished it off here because we've got another weapon here. This is the One Punch Man, which we've played with this before. Uh, it works really well with loose objects. So say like, I don't know, uh, this little bulldozer over here, we can go, boom. We can punch it through stuff. So one thing it didn't work with, it didn't work with stuff that was pinned down. So say the buildings here. Well, folks, there's a good chance I'm about to crash the game because I didn't think that punching a skyscraper would be a good idea, but we're going to try that here. And then if not, we can go like punch grandma's house or something. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you kind of have to aim it, but it is strong enough to punch buildings now. I don't think we're going to completely separate the skyscraper, at least not yet. But 
If we can get this thing off its foundation, we can punch this whole thing through the sky. It's just a lot more powerful. It's called the One Punch Man Plus. Okay, so structurally, this thing is not doing very well. So as soon as we loosen it, we're going to try to punch the top half of this tower into the sky. Uh-oh. Uh <gasps> oh, oh, it's loose. Okay, here we go. Uh, wait for it. Come on, punch. Wait, why did that not even affect it? Hold on. One punch into the sky. Let's go. Uh-oh, it's still loading. <laughs> oh, no. Don't go away. Wait, why can I not punch this? It's floating away. What is wrong with gravity right now? I think we broke something. Is it just moving in that slow motion? Hold on, let's eliminate the debris. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go. Wow, it doesn't even affect it anymore. The one punch has given up. We might need to go do this with smaller buildings. I mean, we did technically punch the skyscraper in half. We just didn't send it to the moon. All right, so we're gonna test this out again. So I've got smaller buildings, so let's go. Yeet! Oh, it works. Okay, so maybe it was just the size of the building. Oh, let's stand here and go, boom. Wait, where did that one just go? Oh, it just fell over. Yeah, people come up with some really creative stuff and tear down. Uh, hold on, let's punch another building. Boom, there it goes. Nice. I like this mod. I like it a lot. I like you, Mr. Barringer. I like you a lot. All right, time to one punch one more thing. We're at the Rick and Morty house. I figured this might work a little bit better since it's smaller, so... If we stand here and just go, uh, oh, well, that kind of works. I mean, it's, wow, we took off the whole side of the building there. Yeah, it's really devastating. It's quite cool. I'm just trying to see if we can knock a house off its foundation. I don't think we're uh, knocking anything off the, uh, oh, is this got bodies? Uh, what is this? Oh, it sounds like bees. But yeah, uh, I don't think we're knocking this uh, house off its foundation, but, oh, geez. Yeah, it works really well. Actually, we're almost there. Can we knock this top part off? Right, here we go. Boom. Uh, yep, this thing is totally not flying. Well, I think we've done enough damage here to the house itself with our fist. So let's go check out our next mod. Hi, I'm Citadel's new mascot, Andy, because this place wouldn't be home without Rick's Andy Morty. Dumb. All right, so for our next map, I promised you guys some zombies. This is the YouTube studio, which, why, are, why is it on an island? <laughs> is this where YouTubers record? This actually kind of looks like a gel. Uh, but yeah, there's... Oh, dear. Okay, that's a lot of zombies. Uh, okay, YouTube. Uh, oh, look at the play buttons. This is cool. Uh, you know, we probably should have checked this map out the normal way, but I think being chased by zombies is a little bit better. Oh, they're trying to get in. So, is that a recording? Wait, what are these? Oh, these are toilets. No, here we go. Look at this setup. Dude, we can record some really sweet videos. We would just have to hurry up because the zombies are about to come through the walls. So we got to figure out a way to defend ourselves. Well, I mean, we do have the new gas can. That's a thing. Uh, let's just light some zombies on fire with gas. Here we go. If we pour enough of this, we should be fine. And we'll just lead the trail out. Uh, hold on. Let's make sure we get that zombie. Oh, you can see its face kind of coming through. All right. So let's lead a uh, trail out. Oh, up, up, up. Got to keep it somewhat close. There we go. Come on. Uh, uh-oh. Okay, back up a little bit more. All right, we are about to light all the zombies on fire. So let's get our lighter here. Uh, they're still somewhat breaking through. I think they're losing a little bit of health there. All right, here we go. And light that. Uh, come on. Why is this thing having problems lighting? Okay, there it goes. Uh, oh. Oh, there it goes. And then, oh, okay, we might want to run this way. Uh, oh, it's getting laggy. Uh, does that mean we have a bunch of burning zombies? Let's go to this side. Holy man. Okay. It's starting to slowly catch them on fire, but they're still moving this way. Oh, wait. Oh, look. It's starting to burn through them. Make sure it's nice and hot. There we go. <laughs> this is totally work. Wait a minute. Well, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we just cornered ourselves. Is there a, a fire escape in the back somewhere? Uh, this might have been a mistake. Hold on. Jump through the fire. All right, let's check the uh, progress on the zombies. Oh, dude, we have completely charred them. Uh, and there needs to be a little bit more fire. There's still some movement in the pile. We got to make sure everything is nice and dead here. You know, this is kind of like a two for one deal. You know, they always say like you got to dispose of the zombie bodies after you kill them in the apocalypse. Uh, so yeah, we're doing that while also killing them. Uh, you know what? For a uh, good measure, we're going to throw in a couple pipe bombs real quick. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that was more than a couple. 
Look at all the charred zombie bits going everywhere. Well, look at that. We survived the zombie apocalypse. I mean, we kind of destroyed our YouTube studio, but I mean, it's fine. We can always rebuild. All right, so for our next mod, we have a mod called Rescue Efforts. This is by Offensive PDF, Murdoch, Snakey Wakey, Yuloon, uh, Roblix. I don't know what I'm saying here, but I'm gonna zoom in on it. There is two versions of this map. So this is the same creators uh, that did the uh, big plane map that we've played a lot with. Uh, so you have Rescue Efforts, which is a mission. Then you have the Sandbox, uh, which I think, think it's just the same map, but you can just do whatever you want. So let's just see what this is. It's supposedly some sort of firefighter simulator. Oh, look at this. We got a full menu here. It's a nice little town. So let's hit play. Uh, how do we play this? Oh, so looks like we have missions here. Oh, what is a flight crashing into a... Uh, a neighborhood, that's kind of cool. And there's a redacted one down there. Wait, what does that mean? Uh, it's a 911 call reporting an explosion. One person reported dead, house set on fire, possible injured. So I guess you have to go in and actually rescue the ragdolls and then put the fire out. So let's give this a go. Are we getting a cutscene? Is that person playing with the grill right now? Uh, wait, am I supposed to click? Wait, am I closing? What is happening? Oh! Oh, so it was a grill explosion. So it was a barbecue gone wrong. Uh, look at the people on the inside. Wait, everybody's already burning. Uh, oh, you know what? We should probably turn off. Wait, are we actually in the fire truck? Dude, this is so cool. There's a chance I still have the adjustable fire mod on and that whole house is probably engulfed in flames. So, oh look, there's actually, wait, they can follow me? You can tell the AI firefighters to follow you. What kind of game is this now? Okay, where's the fire? Oh, there's the fire. Uh, I hope the adjustable fire settings aren't actually on. Uh, we gotta rescue the people from in here. Would it be cheating if I flew? All right, so we are to the rear of the house. I'm gonna start trying to extinguish the fire. Maybe make it a little less laggy here. Uh, I don't know if the adjustable fire is actually on and it's making the spread faster, but there's a lot of fire here. All right, so I've been fighting this laggy mess for about uh, five minutes now. I think we have finally slowed down the fire. I can't see anything. Wait, did I do the thing? Hi! Wait, why are you guys just standing there? Hold on, sledgehammer. Uh-oh, that didn't just catch that back on fire, did that? I forgot I have an explosive sledgehammer. How do I rescue? Okay, follow me. Uh, follow me. I like how everybody's just like standing here. So yeah, I guess the objective, you put out the fire, you get the uh, rag dolls, you tell them to follow you. Hey, look, they're playing Halo. Uh, wow, there's an Xbox in here. This is kind of cool. Hold on, can I turn it on? You guys actually follow me out? They're actually walking out. Hold on, let me clear a way for you real quick. Let's go. Wait. Uh, on, put it out real quick. Put it out. Put it out. Okay. Let's get through. Uh, there's a lot of debris. I don't know how you guys are supposed to get out of here, but I'm assuming I need to take you guys to a safe point. Also, look at our firefighter buddy. He's just kind of hopping along the fence. Yeah, there's a couple things I need to figure out how this works, but this is cool. Uh, we're coming upstairs. Anybody up here? I'm assuming there's people in these bedrooms. Uh, can I open this up? Is this the thing? I probably should just get like the ax or something. Okay, that is burned to a crisp. Was there somebody in this one? Hello? Okay, well, you need to come with me if you want to live. Wait, is Jim on the other side of this door? Jim, get away from the door. I'm trying to actually open this up. Uh, okay, you know, let's just pull it open. Oh, maybe the door just doesn't open that way. Okay, can I just grab the ragdoll? Can I pick you up? So if we go into here, hey, look, there's more people. Why do you guys have these little cat ears? Or is that like, Pony bun tail things, whatever you want to call them. All right, well, you guys need to follow me if you want to get out of here alive. Okay, come on. I'm trying to hold the door open for people. Uh, they're doing the thing. I mean, that one lady's just running into the door. Yeah, that might be the most tedious part of this is actually getting the people out of the, uh, the house itself. Like, I'm sure there's another person in here. Uh, hello? Somebody back here? Well, there's definitely gonna be some things I need to play around with on this map to figure out exactly how it all works, but I thought I'd show this to you guys because this is really cool to see. Uh, so definitely go show this one some love and go tell me if you guys can complete the missions. I'm kind of curious as to what the redacted one is. Like, what is the final mission? I might play a couple of these off camera and get it all set up. Hey, look, my backup finally arrived. Took you long enough, Samantha. Uh, does this count as somebody that's alive?
Oops. So yeah, here is the actual workshop for that map. Uh, you can actually rescue people by putting them inside the ambulance. So we were essentially doing it right. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But that's actually really cool. I'm really impressed by this. So just real quick, just to show you guys what was happening. This is the sandbox version of the map. You can still have it to where they respond. It's a lot less laggy because of the, the fire being gone. But yeah. You can see them all pull up. There's your buddies. But there is no fire. They're just like jumping with the joy because they're happy. Oh, there's, that one's actually called Dance Machine. Maybe that's what it is. But yeah, uh, you can always play this in Sandbox. So we'll probably come back to this and check it out a little bit more. But very cool. So go show the Workshop creators some love. And we'll see you guys next time.